In this video tutorial, we're going to be creating ourselves a fairly simple Python project where we get the computer to ask us a couple of questions. Once the computer has asked a couple of questions to us, it's just going to come back and basically spit out a full sentence telling us the answers from those questions. Okay, so the first question the computer is asking me here in blue writing is, what's your name? So I'm going to have to type in my name. Let's make up one, Bob. Then it asks my age. So let's make up an age here, or right, 34. And you can see the computer comes back saying, Hello Bob, you are 34 years old. Okay, so basically having a quick conversation with the computer, which is pretty cool. So what I'm going to do is just start from scratch and show you how to make this. So I'm just going to close Python and reopen it, so we're all starting from the same spot. When you open Python, don't forget we want the IDLE program open. And it's going to open up the Python shell. Here it is. Inside the Python shell, just go to File and New File so we can create our code on a brand new document. Now the first thing we want to do is ask a question to our user. We want to ask what their name is. Okay, so the way I'm going to write it is name equals input. Now when I write the word input, you'll see that it changes color into purple. And that's because that's a key word that Python uses. Okay, and Input is basically Python's way of saying, I'm going to ask a question on the screen. Okay, so whatever we put in brackets and quotation marks after the word input, it's going to appear as a question on the screen. Okay, so let's ask the question, what is your name? Put a question mark, put a space in, close the quotation marks off and close the brackets off. Okay, so copy that line of code in. So this little section here, input, what is your name, basically asks the question on the screen and it will allow us to type in a response. Now the response that somebody writes in, the answer to their name, so for example Bob, it will then be stored in this name value here. Okay, So name is going to equal whatever our user writes in as their name. Okay. Now with that in mind, what we're going to do next is print out the person's name on the screen or well, we're going to display it on the screen. So remember, the keyword in Python is print if you want to display some words on the screen. Okay, it'll just display a message. So we write the word print and in brackets and quotation marks we'll write get a comma and then we'll do a space, close our quotation marks. Then I'm going to put another comma outside those quotation marks and write the word name and then close my bracket off. So This is basically going to print on the screen get A and the name that's stored up here will appear after the word get A. Okay, So name is going to equal whatever the answer is to that question, so Bob, let's say Bob, and then it's going to print on the screen get A whatever the person's name is, so we'll say Bob. Let's save that We'll have to go into our account and stick it into our Python projects folder. I'll just call it Asking Questions. We have to spell that right. Click on Save and press F5 to run your code. And it's going to ask the question, what is your name? So I'm going to write in Bob. Now remember it's going to store that answer and then display it on the next line saying, get a Bob. Okay. So that's the first part of our code all done. If we go back to our code, we're going to add in a little bit more. We're going to add in another question that asks what our age is. So what I'm going to do is go onto the second line here. So in between those two lines of code, I'm going to create a new variable. A variable is basically a value that can change. Okay, So a person could type in any age, so that's why this is a variable. Okay, so we've got the age equals, and then we're going to ask a question. So we write the word input again. Remember, input's the key word that allows us to ask a question. And then we open up brackets and quotation marks, and we write, what is your age? Question mark, space, close the quotation marks, and close the brackets. So this now is going to say on the screen, what is your age? Whatever the user types in as their age, it will be remembered. It will be stored as the age value. So age is going to equal whatever the user types in. Okay. So what we might do after we printed the name, we might print out the age. So let's put in the keyword print 
open up some brackets and quotation marks and just write your age is and we're just going to close those quotation marks off put a comma and write the word age and then close your bracket off so that's basically going to display on the screen your age is now age is up here okay so whatever the user types in as their age it's going to be displayed in that place right there okay let's save it by pressing control s and f5 to test it okay, it'll run our program again in the shell so it's asking down here now what's our name so let's change our name to let's say margie what's margie's age her age is 89 okay down here it says g'day margie your age is 89 that's pretty cool now I've just noticed there's a bit of extra space here between G'day and Margie. So what I'm going to do is just go back to my code here. It looks like I don't need to include that space there between the comma and the quotation marks. Okay, so that's looking better. Alright, so the last thing we want to do now is just print out one single line. So instead of printing out two lines, we're just going to say G'day whatever your name is. You are however many years old. Okay, so I've deleted that last line of code. I'm just going to print out this one line of code. So at the moment we've got g'day and your name. Okay, after the name we're going to put a comma because we're going to add some more into this printout. Put in a space and in quotation marks, we're just going to do the minus sign or a little dash. All right, you are. I'm going to close my quotation marks again and do another comma. I'm going to write in the person's age. Do another comma. And in quotation marks again, we're going to write years old. And close the quotation marks. And might even put a full stop in there as well. So basically now the computer has asked us two questions. It's got our name and it's got our age and it's going to store them in the name and the age variables. Okay, now it's got those stored. It's going to print out a response saying, get a, whatever your name is. You are, however old you are. And then write years old. So let's save that and test it. Okay, so I've saved it. Press F5 to run it. Here we go again. What is your name? Let's change it again. Let's say my name's Cat. My age is 57. Now in one sentence it says, G'day Cat, you are 57 years old. Okay, so you can see the person's name and the age that they typed in up above has been remembered and put into this sentence down the bottom. Okay. So that's all I'm going to show you in this video. Okay, hopefully from this you're taking out or taking away how you can ask questions to your users and how you can store the responses in variables. Okay, and once those responses are stored, they can be brought up again later on in the code. Okay, so good luck with that. Make sure you save it up when you're done. I'll see you in the next video.